Dr. Paul Mason. Diabetics, both type 1 and 2, can benefit from avoiding lectins along with low-carb eating. The requirements in general should be between 0.3 and 0.5 uh, units per kilogram per day. So if you have... Uh, oh, insulin sensitive. Yes, exactly. So the type 1 supposedly are insulin sen sensitive. So yeah. that, that's what I aim for. I aim for about 0.3 because you want... You, you want the lowest amount of insulin also for type ones, right? So, sure. so uh, I, 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 and you can achieve that. You know, there are patients that have been long-term diabetics who end up eight, nine units a day of, of basal, no problem. Some that would even get down further, but. Um, and, and that's a level where you're not gonna be in having too much insulin re resistance. I mean, you're gonna be basically having perfect health, normal lifespan with that. I, I, I believe so. I think uh, um, we, we've really seen that Type ones are subject to the, the same problems as type twos, right? Uh, they, they, if they eat whatever they want, coming back to the beginning of the conversation, then they're going to gain weight. But it's going to be even worse because they have high basal levels all day long. So yeah. all the, you know, in a very not just when they eat, and then have a dip down to it. Like even insulin resistant people have decreases in insulin between meals to some, to some extent. But type ones don't. If if they're on high basal levels, then they're high yeah. for very long, you know, very long periods of time. We have about 10 patients who presented with type 1 diabetes, were on insulin, but fairly recently diagnosed, and then you put them on a ketogenic diet, and then uh, are able to be off insulin already for years. And, um, and I think that's really exciting, and, and I think people should know that it's worth trying. There are case studies, I mean, looking at the autoimmune protocol and stuff, with basically lectin elimination diets, mm -hmm. where you basically get incredibly prolonged honeymoon phases in type 1 diabetics. I certainly, I check all of my type two. And when I say type two, I, all of my, every patient gets an antibody spray. Okay. And frequently, these guys who are clear cut type two diabetics are not clear cut type two diabetics. They have, you know, as you know, LADA, the latent autoimmune diabetes. Oh, right, right. And I'm actually, and I certainly believe that people with that autoimmune component, I don't think a ketogenic diet is optimal for them. I think you really need to go on a low lectin diet as well. Um, and it just makes sense. I mean, if you've got, you know, type two, you know, type phenotype of insulin resistance, and then you've got the type one stuff where your pancreas is being smashed by your immune system. Um, you know, and what do you see? what do you see when you eliminate the lectin in, the, in this latter population? So just generally a much tighter glucose control. Um, it, so some people on a ketogenic diet, they still struggle with their sugar controls. Mm -hmm. And there's something about going on a low lectin diet that then improves that significantly, even over and above what a what a lect, what a uh, a low carb diet will, and we also know that wheat germ and glutenin and concavolin and, and a you know other lectins have actually been demonstrated to bind to insulin receptors and to stimulate de novo lipogenesis and have these other effects as well. So anywhere where you think that you might have a, a lectin problem, and I think there's no better suggestion of that than having antibodies, an autoimmune issue. Um, cut out the lectins and see what happens. It's absolutely quite fascinating that, you know, they've got studies where in animals, admittedly, but when they, you know, they give them lectins, they gain weight. <laughs> Their sugar control worsens. They take the lectins away, um, things get better. Q&A. LADA, latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. A slow progressing form of autoimmune diabetes, somewhat similar to type 1 diabetes since the pancreas stops producing adequate insulin. Autobody screen, it indirectly detects and identifies unexpected circulating antibodies in the patient's blood. Lectins, anti-nutrient proteins that bind to carbohydrates. Their plant-defending features may cause problems during human digestion, causing negative side effects. Type 1 diabetic patients, Dr. Glan says, the general daily insulin requirements are 0.3 to 0.5 units per kilogram of body weight. Assuming a type 1 patient is insulin sensitive, you want the lowest amount of insulin possible for type 1 also. There are patients who have been type 1 for a long time who end up 8 to 9 units basal rate. That is a level where won't have too much insulin resistance and have perfect health, a normal lifespan. Type 1s are subject to the same problems as type 2s, 
If they eat whatever they want, they will gain weight. It will be worse because their basal insulin is always high. Even insulin-resistant people have dips between meals. Dr. Glenn continues, we have 10 type 1 patients on insulin, fairly recently diagnosed. We put them on a ketogenic diet. They are able to be off insulin for years. It's worth trying. Dr. Mason says, there are case studies where, given a lectin elimination diet for type 1 diabetics, their insulin honeymoon period lasts for a very long time. He continues, every patient gets an antibody screen, and frequently these type 2 diabetics are not actually type 2 diabetics. They have LADA, latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. They also need lectin elimination diet. Patients with LADA have both type 2 diabetes and type 1 pancreas smashed by the immune system. They need both a keto and a lectin-free diet to control glucose. There is something about a low lectin diet that improves glucose control better than simply a low-carb diet. We also know that many lectins, wheat germ, gluten, concanavalin, and others, bind to insulin receptors, inducing insulin resistance, induce de novo lipogenesis, growing fat cells. Those who have antibodies, which is an autoimmune issue, should cut out the lectins. Studies in animals who are given lectins, one, they gain weight, two, their sugar control worsens. Take the lectins away, things get better. <laughs>